I'm going to show you how to thread the yarn through first the yarn mast and then the yarn feeder for your Dina Bean sock machine, the 2.0 that includes the heel spring. First, I don't know if you can see this, but you want the cone of yarn to be directly under the hole at the back of the yarn feeder. And then the yarn just goes up through, up through that hole. If you're not planning to use the heel spring, and you need the heel spring, for example, when you're going back and forth, like to knit heels and toes generally. So if you're just cranking a plain tube, let's say you're making a setup on it, and you're not going to be going back and forth, you can just lay the yarn in that top rest and thread it down through the hole at the front of the yarn mast, and that's all you have to do. If you are going to be going back and forth, you're going to want to engage the heel spring, then you can feed the yarn under the brake clip and then put it down through the front. You want the needle that you want to be the first one that will have the yarn. You want it to be positioned just before the break in the yarn feeder. Next, I will typically put a weighted clip on the end of my yarn, drop it down into the cylinder, and then my needle that I need to have yarn is just before the break, as I showed you on the other side. So you lay the yarn that's coming down from the yarn mass through the break, and then just pull to the right to put it under that bar. And then you can hold with your right hand and circle around through the spring to load it from here, and then reach back to pull the slack out from at your yarn cone. Then you can add your weight and start cranking and just watch carefully to make sure that first needle catches. If you're casting on with fewer than the full cylinder of needles, you have some that you're skipping and they're a little loose, you can just use your finger to, on the, the first row, just use your finger to hold the needles in and that'll both keep them up so that they don't drop. It'll help just make sure they're positioned in the right place. You want to position your yarn feeder so it is about a credit card's width away from the needles. It is possible to make it a little bit too close so the needles will catch on the yarn feeder. You basically want it to be as close to the needles as possible without that happening. If you've got yarn on your needles and the latches are staying open, then it shouldn't really be a problem. You can see they just go right in front. You also want to think about how high you want the yarn feeder to be. Of course, the in and out position is adjustable with this bolt. And then this bolt back here is what allows you to adjust the yarn feeder up and down. If you have the ribber on, then the ribber needles need to be able to pass just under the yarn feeder. You can see here how high I keep it, and this seems a pretty comfortable height. Again, if you're having trouble with dropping stitches, the first thing to play around with is moving the yarn feeder. To adjust the yarn feeder in and out, you would start by loosening the top bolt, and then it can slide to wherever you want it. And then once you have it there, I usually hold with my left hand I hold it so that the spring is where I want it and everything is centered right where I want. And then with my right hand, I use the screwdriver. Otherwise the spring can kind of flip around. When you're ready to engage the heel spring, that's very easy to do. You just pull the hook forward. You wanna make sure that this um, brake clip is leaning backwards. And it's this front part of the yarn that you pick up and drop into the hook. That was all there is to it. Now you're ready to go with your heel spring. When you're done using the heel spring, you can just take it out again. And at the end of your project, if you need to, or at the end of a section, if you need to change out the yarn, you can actually just remove that clip to be able to take the yarn out 
and then put the clip back in. I hope that helps. Visit us at deanofbean.com and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.